Hey everyone, welcome back to MetalDisciple.com's 365 Days of Metal. My name is George and this is Day 145. Today I have another band I'm surprised I haven't covered yet. In the style of Viking metal, no other active band is higher in my esteem than Swedish band Amon Amarth. This is their 2011 album, Surtur Rising. Amon Amarth was one of the first bands I ever reviewed, back on my old site. Metal Blade sent me a promo of Once Sent from the Golden Hall all the way back in 1998. At the time, I had no idea that Amon Amarth would grow to be such an incredible and important band in the Viking metal style. Bathory is probably the band I would consider the most important Viking metal band of all time, but of the current crop of Viking metal bands, Amon Amarth, in my opinion, leads the pack. These guys have been releasing solid albums every couple of years for the last 15 years, and it seems to me that every time a new album comes out, there's always been some area where the band has improved or moved forward. When Sir Tur Rising was released, I thought I'd died and gone to Valhalla. In a couple weeks, we'll be treated to yet another Amon Amarth release, Deceiver of the Gods. So far, I've only heard the title track, but wow, it sounds pretty amazing. This will be the band's first album produced by Andy Sneap, and if the title track is any indication, Andy has once again pulled off an amazing sound. He's one of my favorite metal producers out there right now. My favorite tracks on this album are tracks 3, 4, and 5, Destroyer of the Universe, Slaves of Fear, and Live Without Regrets. Check out today's playlist to hear these songs. That's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more metal. See you then. Take it easy.